All right, so we did this uh, blended roof with a mass, and now I'm going to do it with a roof model in place, which is a little bit more tedious and is going to take a little bit more time, but it will give us a roof. So I'm just going to delete, if I can get it, this thing. There we go. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, in the previous blended mass one, we set up a couple of reference planes. And we set up a couple of lines and mirrored them. If you want to see how that happens, you can watch the blended mass version. I'm just going to go ahead and do the roof blend. So if I go to architecture, component, model in place, and I go to roof, right? And categorize that as a roof. I'll name it blend. Okay. There's a blend option up here. We've used the sweep, but if I go to blend, I can go to blend and it's going to start working on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and set my plane to the right. Click OK. Um, and we can show where the plane is. So there's where the plane, the working plane is. And once I do that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to my pick line. And I'm going to do a very similar thing that I did previously, is pick these lines that are going to create one half of the blend, right? So spin around here and pick this last one there. And then I created these lines um, so I could come in and, and trim out that blend. So I'm going to draw a line, or trim out that line. So if I draw a line from here to there, I can use the trim command, which TR is the shortcut, and just trim that line out. And while I'm here, I'm going to have to offset this line because it has to be a closed loop when you're in this command. So I'm going to go to offset here, I'm going to set it to one inch, and I'm going to offset this guy one inch and go ahead and close it down here to begin the loop. And this has got to be endpoint to endpoint or you need to trim it if it doesn't go endpoint to endpoint. Alright, so now I'm just going to go back to my offset and work my way around and offset this guy. All right? And uh, this one. I'm not going to offset this last one until I trim it out. So I'll come over here, find the line that I drew, draw another line on it, right, to where I want it to be. I use the trim command to trim that guy out, and then pick that and delete it. So now I've got that, and now I need to offset it up, and then just close that loop. Right, with this guy. Okay. So that seems wrong. I close it to there. And then trim that and that. Trim, trim. And then delete that bottom one right there. All right. So now we've got the bottom done. And now I'm going to edit the top. And I'm going to set my work plane to left and click OK and repeat the process. So now I'm going to go to my pick and I'm going to come over here and start picking these edges to make these lines, right? Go to the modify to stop that and then I'll start trimming things out. So again, I'm going to Trim this and delete that. And then I'm going to offset that and that. And I'll go ahead and draw the loop here, right? And then I'll offset around here. Come over here and offset these two. Offset that one, and then I'll wait to offset that last one until I draw the 
trim out on it. So we'll draw the line from there to there, trim it, and then offset it. And then I can come in here and trim this, right? All right, so now if all is right with the world, I have two completely closed pieces. Then I can hit the big green check, and it will blend those two together, right? So now I've got a roof blend. If I pick the roof, I can go to um, the material and place a material parameter on it, just like I did for the other ones. So I'll make this one an instance parameter as well. Click OK. Click OK. Hit the big green check, right? And so now I have a blended roof in there. Now the thing though about this is because it's a roof, I can actually pick this guy, whoops, sorry, pick that guy and go attach top base and pick the roof. Then it will clink that guy. Oh, the roof doesn't go all the way to the end. That's super weird. So let's undo that. Let's see if we pick it, we should be able to push that to the edge, right? And so now if I pick that and I go to attach top base and I pick the roof, it will, you know, attach that to the roof. So I can do that with the wall as well. So if I go to the wall, I can attach top base, right? And I can do the same thing with this, attach top base. Right? And it will remake that curtain wall. Oops. Oh, it can't make the door because it's too short, so it wants to delete the panel and replace it with a regular curtain wall panel. Now it's having a, probably having a little bit of an issue here because of the curvature of this, but let's go ahead and put another material on it and see what's going on. So I'll put the fabric roof on this one. Click OK. All right. So there's that fabric roof. You can do the same thing with this one that you did with the mass one and hide these lines. So if I go in here and click line work and set it to invisible lines, you just have to pick two of them because this actually has thickness, right? Yeah, I'll pick that one and pick that one. And I guess we've got two here too. And so now you've got a nice clean roof, right? and that line would be straight. You could go in and delete your model lines that you made as references, right, if you wanted to. Um, but it should be that if I go to my north or south elevation, that those lines should be perfectly straight across there, right, because we made those reference lines. Okay, so that's the blended roof. Um, component model in place.